Hi, I'm Matt Fashini. You're watching Adidas Onside. My dad was the only one that really played um, AFL, my cousins, and that coming from Italian background, it was just soccer, soccer, soccer. So family barbecues, family functions, there was only a, a football around. So we used to have a kick and I got my passion from there. When I was a youngster and even now, I live and breathe the game. I, I love it to bits, so I'd come home from training and before dinner we had, we've got a, a, a spare wall at the side of our house and I just kick the ball and, and set myself little targets inside my head and until I reached them I wouldn't go inside and have dinner or watch TV or anything, so just, just did that and, and tried to perfect my skills as best as I could. I played for my local team which was a five minute drive from my house um, from the age of five or six. I used to play my brother's team, it was a bit older and then Slowly, slowly, uh, I progressed there, and, and when it was time to leave, I went to a, a team that was a little bit better, if you like, and um, and played there, and then got into the Victorian Premier League when I was 16 years old, and lucky enough to get uh, selected for the youth team at Victory, and um, had a good season there, and, and Ernie Merrick um, signed me for the first team the year after, so been at the Victory four or five years now, and, and I love it, and, and I can just feel my game progressing even more, especially um, under Ange. Being a professional footballer, it's not as easy as everyone thinks. It's not training once a day and then going for a latte. It's, it's hard work and things aren't always going to go your way. You, you get dropped, it's happened to me, it's happened to me recently and there's no point sulking or, or um, putting your head down and wanting people to put their arm around you. you you've got to get on with it and, and train as hard as you've ever trained before to prove to the manager and, and prove to your teammates that you're worthy of playing. So. I think people respect you more from, from adversity when you come back from adversity than, than when you're just playing well when, when everything's cruisy. Just coming to training every day and, and hearing the banter from the 23 lads in, in the dressing room and, and talking about the game and things like that. So there's not many other jobs in the world where, where you get to share success with, with a group of your best mates. and. I love it. Like I said, it's not easy, but 23 people get you through the tough times and at the end of the day, if you're winning games, winning championships, there's no other better feeling.